Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and today we are on chapter 40, or day 40 of our Love Dare cha Challenge, the marriage, 40 day marriage challenge um, by Stephen and Alex Kendrick. Can you believe we're on the last day, day 40? If you've missed the other videos, please go and check them out. Day 40 is Love is a Covenant. Where you go, I will go, and where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. That is Ruth 1 16. Congratulations, you've reached the end of the Love Dare, love dare at the book. But the experience and challenge of loving your mate is something that never comes to an end. It goes on for the rest of your life. The book may end at day 40, but who says your dare has to stop? As you view your marriage relationship from this point on, we challenge you to embrace it as a covenant instead of a contract. These two words sound similar in meaning and intent, but are in reality much different. Seeing a marriage as a contract is like saying to your spouse, I take you for myself and we'll see if this works out. But realizing it's a covenant that changes it to say, I give myself to you and commit to this marriage for life. There are many other differences between covenants and contracts. A contract is usually a written agreement based on distrust, outlining the conditions and consequ consequences if broken. A covenant is a verbal commitment based on trust, assuring someone that your promise is unconditional and good for life. It is, it is spoken before God out of love for another. A contract is a self-serving and comes with a limited liability. It establishes a time frame for certain deliverables to be met and accomplished. A covenant is for the benefit of others and comes with unlimited responsibility. It has no expiration date. It is a death to us part. A contract can be broken with a mutual consent. A covenant is intended to be unbreakable. The Bible contains several major covenants as part of the old unfolding story of God's people. God made a covenant with Noah, promising never to destroy all flesh with a worldwide flood. That's Genesis 9, 12 through 17. He made a covenant with Abraham, promising that an entire nation of descendants would come from his family line. Gen Genesis 17, 1 through 8. He made a covenant with Moses, declaring that the people of Israel would be God's permanent possession. Exodus 19, 3 through 6. He made a covenant with David, promising, promising that the ruler would sit on his throne forever. That is 2 Samuel 7, 17-16. Ultimately, he made a new covenant by the blood of Christ, establishing an unending, unchanging legacy of forgiven sins and external life for those who believe in him. Hebrews 9, 9 15. Never once has God broken any of these covenants. And then there's marriage, the strongest covenant on earth between two people. The pledge of a man and the woman to establish a love that is unconditional and lasts a lifetime. In marriage, your wedding ring represents your covenant vows. Not merely commitments you hope to keep, but premeditated promises spoken publicly before God and witnessed by others. As you've read numerous times in these pages, keeping this covenant is not something you can do in your own strength. There's a good reason why God was the one who initiated covenants with his people. He alone is able to fulfill the demands of his own promises. He alone is able to forgive the receivers of the covenant when they fail to upload their part of the agreement. 
But the Spirit, Spirit of God is within you by virtue of your faith in His Son and the grace He bestowed upon you in salvation. Th that means that His help you now that means with his help you now can ex exercise your role as a covenant keeper no matter what may arise to challenge your faithfulness to it sorry if you can hear james yelling in the background <laughs> especially if your spouse is not in place of receiving your love right now the act of a covenant keeping can grow more daunting with each passing day but marriage is not a contract full of escape clauses and exception wordings Marriage is a covenant between, intended to avoid all avenues of retreat or, or withdrawal. There's nothing in all the world that should, ev that should serve or what God has joined together. Your love is based on a covenant. Hundreds of years after the prophet Malachi recorded the following words, people are still wondering why God withholds his hands of blessing at time from some homes and some marriages. You say, for what reason? Because the Lord has been a witness between you and the wife of your youth, against whom you have dealt treacherously, through she, though she is your companion and your wife by covenant. For I hate divorce, says the Lord, the God of Israel, and him who covers his garment with wrong, says the Lord of hosts. So take heed to your spirit that you do not deal treacherously. That's Malachi 2, 14, 16. Every marriage is called to be earthly picture of God's heavenly covenant with his church. It is to reveal to the world the, the glory and the beauty of God's unconditional love for us. Jesus said, as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Now remain in my love. John 15, 9. Let his words inspire you to be the channel of God's love to your spouse. The time is now, man or woman of God, to renew your covenant of love in all sincerity and surrender. Love is too holy to treasure to trade in for another and too powerful a bond to be broken without a dire consequences. Fasten your love afresh on this one the Lord has given you to cherish prize and honor. Your love together is before you. Choose to take hold of it and never let it go. We dare you. And the last dare is write out a renewal of your vows and place them in your home. Perhaps in appropriate, if appropriate, you could make arrangements to go formally renew your wedding vows before a minister and with a family present. Make it a living testament to the process value of marriage in God's eyes and the high honor of being one with your mate. And then it says, What has God revealed to you during the love dare? How have your views of your marriage changed? How committed are you to God to, and to your spouse? Who can share this with as a testimony? Okay. Um, when it says, Write out renewal of your vows and place them in your home. I have not done that yet, but our anniversary is coming, and I think it would be a neat way to or new gift to David to somehow I'm not sure yet but um, to have our vows written out in some neat way um, and it says about making arrangements to formally renew your wedding vows before a minister with family present <laughs> it's funny because when uh, David was proposing to me he said something about loving me or wanting to spend the next 30 years with me or something like that i can't remember the exact words but so it's always been kind of a joke that we aren't going to be married after 30 years i know it's not really funny but it's kind of an inside joke anyway so i always um said that once 30 years are up that we would get a um renew our vows together what has God revealed to you during the love there? I think God has revealed to me that there's so much that I need to work on and it's going to be a continuous thing. It's going to be something I'm just going to be working on for my marriage forever. You should always be working on your marriage. You may have the best marriage out there, but you should still be working on it because it can always get better and you should always let your um, spouse know that you love them 
and that you will love them forever. Death to us part. How have your views of your marriage changed? Um, my view is that marriage is hard, um, but that's not nothing new. But it, I have viewed that there there is different ways for me to go about things that doesn't make me happy, or there's hard, or um, there's different things I can do when it's when marriage gets hard or tough things go happen there's always something I can do to make it better or at least try to make better my view really hasn't changed much I just know now better ways to succeed at it um, I still think marriage is a wonderful thing it's something I've always wanted and I want to continue making it the best that I can. How committed are you to God and to your spouse? Very, very much. Very much. <laughs> Who can you share this with as a t testimony? I'm sharing it with all of you on YouTube that are watching. And that is the end. Um, if you have gone through this whole book with me congratulations and thank you so much um please let me down let me know down in the description if you went along with me or you plan on doing it eventually or you've done it before and let me know how it goes there will be one more video in this love dare um playlist that i'm making it will be and we retake the love dare test that I took at the very beginning and I will tell you the results of that in the next video. Alright, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss any of our videos. And to, it's all in my video too. Oh yeah, and go check out James's videos too. Alright, until next time. Bye.